Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is narrator Ravi Gupta. Today we are going to talk about foam system in ship. Okay. In today, I will explain through a line diagram how the foam system is provided in ship. After that, we will learn the basic thing that what is a foam and how the foam is formed, what is the expansion ratio of foam and how the foam expansion is decided. After that, what are type of foam and which are used mainly and through the diagram, what is the proportionator, we'll see and then rules and regulations. Okay. So through a series of diagram and the rules and regulation, we will cover the full system of the foam system used in a ship. So basically, first let's see how a foam system work in a ship. So as you can see in this diagram, this is the steering gear room where the emergency pump is normally provided. Emergency fire pump is normally provided. The suction is basically from a separate sea chest which is provided in a bilge area. From there the suction is taken and through a strainer and through emergency fire pump the water is provided. Okay. Now the water is coming from here and it passing through a foam proportionator. Okay. After passing through a foam proportionator the foam concentrate coming from a foam tank through a foam pump will be mixed in a foam proportionator. Okay. The water is coming for emergency fire pump and the foam is coming from a foam tank via foam pump to a proportionator. The foam and the water will get mixed in a correct ratio and then through a non-return valve arrangement it will go to the area where it has been arranged okay so depending upon the applications the foam proportionator is designed okay now basically i have shown here the three four areas okay one is the deck side area one is the engine side area one is the fire control station this is a fire control station and this is a steering gear room so basically the water the sea water is coming via emergency fire pump it can also come from a main fire pump if the system is working fine the basically the water is coming from a fire pump and through fire pump the water is coming to a proportionator and depending upon the application means high expansion foam is used in a engine room area why because engine room area is an in totally enclosed space and hence high expansion foam will be used so that to have a better smoothing effect in deck side area the proportionator is separately designed or in some cases separate pump is also provided so that the proportional rate should be such that the foam which is been spread across the deck side area should have a low expansion so that it doesn't get away from the blow away from the wind okay so the proportionator mixing rate is changed depending upon the application now the control the control of the valve means the control of the valve where the foam will go is being controlled via main control panel provided in a fire control station okay or a local control panel in a foam system so basically what happened through a main control panel the different automatic valve means water coming from a emergency fire pump the valve is open via main control panel the section valve means where it will be applied that valve is also controlled by main control panel okay so depending upon that we can use like this basically in engine room the foam system is provided in every main space area like main engine generator purifier room steering gear room and bottom bilges everywhere and in deck side it is provided on the mainly on the forward deck mid deck off deck depending upon so, so that it covers the whole of the cargo area okay so this is how a foam system work basically a flushing connection is provided so that after the application the line can be flushed back okay the line can be flushed back 
for that reason as you can see a line a wall is provided here when the application is been over to make the line clear basically through through seawater a line can be flushed and can be cleared and a flushing connection is provided here it is being provided so that it can be checked from time to time that the line that the line which is going to different sections is clear means a uh, air can be connected and and is in blown through so that to check the each of the nozzle point is clear same with the deck side area okay as you can see in this diagram this is the foam pump okay this is the main control panel okay this is the relief valve as you can see here a relief valve is provided okay so i hope the system is clear now let's see the first question which is asked that what is a foam a firefighting foam is simply a stable mass of air filled bubbles which have a lower density than oil gasoline and water okay so basically foam has a density lower than oil gasoline and water and therefore it easily spread over the surface area of the oil water and gasoline to form a blanket and cut off the air supply and extinguishes the fire by smoothing effect okay the foam is made up of three ingredient water foam con concentrate and air so basically here in the system the water and foam is mixed in the foam proportionator but the air the final foam formation take place at the point means the air is been admitted at the point from the using the area air and then the foam is been formed means the the line is fully consisting of foam solution not foam foam it consists of foam solution the third ingredient means the one ingredient is the foam the second ingredient water is been mixed here and a foam solution is formed that is been carried away to the individual section and at the nozzle point the air from that area is utilized to convert it into a final form that is the foam okay so the foam is made of three ingredient water foam concentrate and air when mixed in correct proportion these three ingredient form a homogeneous foam blanket okay now the second question is asked that how the foam extinguishes the fire so as you can as you all know the foam to extinguish a fire we need four thing basically heat source oxygen combustion material and unchained chemical reaction these are the thing which are happening in a fire so if we can remove any one of the component the fire will be extinguished so in foam we are removing this thing oxygen means we are forming a blanket over the surface and making it deficient of the oxygen so foam extinguishes the fire by smoothing effect that is forming a blanket over a surface and causing the deficient of the oxygen and by that it is extinguishing the fire so i hope it is clear how a foam extinguishes fire now foam can be categorized in mainly three form depending upon the expansion ratio okay first is the low expansion foam second is the medium expansion foam and third is the high expansion foam the whole thing depend upon the expansion ratio if the expansion ratio is 1 is to 12 by 1 is 20 means if the foam is been changed means the concentrate is changed from 1% to the twice to 1% to 20 times okay that will be categorized as low expansion foam if the expansion is from 1 is to 20 to 1 is to 200 times it is will called medium expansion and 1 greater than 1 is to 200 is categorized as high expansion and the limit is 1 is to 1000 okay now how the foam expansion is decided foam expansion is done depending upon the uses okay now where we are going to use as i have told you as in this diagram i have shown you that here in the engine room we are using high expansion and in the deck side we are using low expansion why because the foam expansion is depending upon the area of uses why if it is used in deck area then a low expansion foam will be used as it will not be much affected by the wind or other weather factor so basically what happened if we are using a foam in the deck side 
you prefer the low expansion form why because they are the several factors such as wind weather okay which are external factor which may if the foam used there is high expansion it may carry away by the wind and the foam injected from the nozzles points are not properly getting covered forming a blanket over a fire prone area to prevent that low expansion foam is used so that it doesn't get much affected by the air or other weather factor for that reason we are using low expansion foam but if it is used in the enclosed space or contained space such as in you know then the high expansion foam will be used for quick smoothing action so now here one thing is clear that if we use a high expansion foam then the smoothing action will be quick, quick and the fire extinguishing will be quick because it will form the blanket much faster rate at a enclosed contained area okay so for that reason the foam is mainly provided in a for injection in engineering space now type of foam okay the foam can be defined into five class aqueous film forming foam fluoroprotein film forming fluoroprotein foam synthetic foam class a foam concentrated foam these are type of category foam can be categorized in many form okay i am not telling you this is only five type many form it can be categorized but basically it can be categorized in this five form now the most commonly used for fire patterning is AFF and FPP okay aqueous fill forming foam is used in most of the ship for fire patterning because of its property to fight fire involving hydrocarbon this question is asked that why we are using aqueous fill forming foam or FPP because as i have told you foam has a property has a density lower than gasoline kerosene has a oil and water and therefore it is forming a blanket over the surface now because of it having lower density it very much effective for a fire involving hydrocarbon means oil fire fighting the foam is the best option as the aqueous film forming foam is lighter than hydrocarbon it is spread very easily and form a foam blanket over a flammable liquid one more thing i want to tell you that foam provide two effect okay foam provide smoothing effect as well as it has containing a some amount of water it also provide a small amount of cooling effect so apart from smoothing it is also providing the cooling effect for that reason the fire is once getting extinguishes doesn't have a chance of getting reignited as in the case of co2 system in co2 smoother the fire but there is a chance of reignition but in a foam system there is a very less chance now in your screen as you can see this is the foam proportionator okay this one this thing this thing is a foam proportionator okay so what happened basically as you can see the water is coming from a fire pump and this is the foam concentrate and through the metering orifice this is the main component the metering orifice this concentrates it allowed to mix with the water this metering orifice is defined is defining which expansion ratio is going to form on a foam this metering orifice is designed depending upon the application if it is a low expansion then the metering orifice will be different if it is high expansion then the metering orifice will be different okay now depending upon the applications the concentrate foam will come here the water will come from here and will get mixed as you can see the construction it is type of a conversion diversion nozzle as you can see okay so basically the velocity is increasing and this is a throttling point where it is getting mixed and then again the pressure has been increased to a diversion thing okay so by using this we are mixing the foam okay the water is coming the velocity is increased and the pressure is decreased so that a vacuum effect can be provided at the throat and from there the concentrate will be sucked in and after that the again through a diversion the pressure is increased and velocity is decreased okay and therefore it is called pressure recovery area this is how a foam proportionate work now 
rules and regulation these are the questions which are asked in your class so what are the rules and regulation regarding thing so you should know that okay basic rules and regulation which are very important that i've only told you the arrangement for pro providing foam shall be capable of delivering foam to the entire cargo deck area as well as in any cargo tank the deck of which has been ruptured okay the deck foam firefighting shall be located outside the cargo deck area and should be readily accessible for rapid operation okay the rate of supply of foam solution that is the mixture of foam concentrate and water before expansion shall not be less than following whichever is the greatest okay the foam rate supply first is the 0.6 liter per minute square of the cargo deck area what is the cargo deck area cargo deck area is equal to breadth into total longitudinal extent of the cargo tank space of the ship okay b point say 6 liter per minute square meter of the horizontal section area of the single tank having largest such area 6 liter per minute meter per minute square meter area protected by the largest monitor such area being entirely forward of the monitor but not less than 1250 liter per minute so these are all the rules and regulation which you said learn for the exam purposes okay basically these are means uh, not feasible to get uh, means acquainted so now the fourth is the main thing sufficient foam concentrate shall be supplied to ensure that at least 20 minute of the foam generator in the ship with an inert gas system complying with solas to this regulation or 30 minute of the foam generation in ship not fitted with an inert gas by the system when using solution rate stimulated in paragraph 3 so basically the foam concentration should be such that it can be able to supply foam for a period of 30 minute without inert gas system and for a period of 20 minute if we having a inert gas system okay and if it is used in a deck area it should have expansion is not exceeding 2 less to 1 so these are all the rules and regulation now we will see one thing one more thing here as you can see here okay this foam tank basically a drain is provided in a foam tank from where or, or you can say a sampling pond is provided from where the sample is taken from every 5 year to monitor the what are the condition of the foam and whether we need to replenish the foam or whether we need to, what are the condition of the protein of the foam so that to check that the foam tank having the foam have not been affected by the external environment so from time to time for a period of 5 year we send the foam for a inspection okay now this is the one system but i have told shown you okay and uh, this is the filling line provided suppose means uh, after a period of time the foam concentrate tank is found that not good okay we need to change it in that case from filling line we can fill the foam okay and uh, everything i have told you regarding this now if you like the video then please do subscribe and please share with your friend and please share if you like the video please share on facebook and whatsapp account so that this video can be spread and more of the marine personnel can know about this and can come to this platform so that we can share the knowledge I hope you understand please do subscribe and share thank you friend